This is calculator question number 10 from the May 2019 SAT. College Board is asking about a survey with 300 students where 38% support a menu change and the margin of error is 5.5%. And choice A for the interpretation of the results is the percent of the students at the school who support the menu change is 38%. Because surveys are never exact, you cannot conclude that the survey result is exactly correct. So choice A would be wrong. Choice B, the percent of students at the school who support the menu change is greater than 38%. Since our best estimate is 38%, we're just as likely to underestimate as overestimate, and you can't assume that that's a lower bound for the percent. So B is wrong. Choice C, plausible values of the percent who support the menu change are between 32.5%, which is our best estimate, 38%, minus the margin of error, and 43.5%, which is 38%, our best estimate, plus the margin of error, 5.5%. So that is exactly what we mean by margin of error. And choice D is about the number of students who support the menu change being the number in the survey, plus or minus 5, and that does not make sense. Margin of error is the uncertainty in the percent that you get with the survey, and it's evaluated because in 95% of surveys conducted properly, the true value will be within your margin of error of the estimate from the survey. So it's plausible, in fact, 95% of the time it will be true, that the true percent is between your estimate, 38%, plus or minus the 5.5% margin of error. College Board will often ask more than one question about surveys and experiments, so make sure you're ready for these questions and come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.